I think also the craziest thing that we've tried is the spoiled milk and the spoiled egg. Oh, the be- <laughs> the bamboozle. <laughs> dude remember that those are those are pretty yeah those are pretty crazy man i would count that Uh, that was there yeah man that that bean boozle game was crazy um so for for a lot of people that don't know what the bean boozle is it's basically a game that has a wheel and you turn the wheel and it lands on a certain color of a bean right and so they have a bowl of different color beans and so you have to pick out the one that that came out on on the spin wheel, uh, but you don't know if it's gonna be a good egg or a bad egg. So it could be, for example, uh, <laughs> the white one could be ice cream, yeah. but it can also be maybe spoiled milk. And so you don't know what you're gonna get. And so the game up. kind of continues <laughs> as we like spin the bot, spin the the wheel. We get different colors, and yeah. if you actually swallow the bean. You get a point, and that we kind of made this yeah, point system. What, what happened? I don't think it's it's yeah. actually a thing. Yeah, and it was fun because on my birthday, my friend had bought me the Bean Boozle game and bacon soda. And bacon was, soda was crazy. Yeah, and so the I remember when we were playing that with about I think three or four other people. You were there, Tal, Jose Talamantes, who's been on our podcast, was there, and some other people and uh, other friends. And uh, yeah, we had a point system, so like if we didn't swallow, we lose points. And basically the person who lost the most points had to chug the bacon soda. And I remember, remember it was Jose Talamantes. He, yeah. He lost. So that he bacon chugged. soda was so nasty. Right? Because I mean, you, you said you, you love bacon, right? Yeah, but totally. so we wanted to go try this, this bacon soda to see if it was actually legitimately good. Yeah. But it was just like. The hotter it got, the worse the flavor got. And then uh, after Tom, I was almost threw up. After oh, he did, yeah. I almost threw he, up. He chugged it. He chugged yeah, it. Yeah, he did. We got that on video or something. I remember that. And uh, I, I, the worst jelly bean for me was the spoiled milk. And maybe it's because I'm lactose intolerant. So, like, I'm not, I don't know. But that one made me gag. And I never gag. I hardly, I, I have it for anything. But that one, yeah. that was terrible. What was the worst one for you? you think? I think, uh, uh, dead fish or something like that, yeah, that was dead crazy. fish one yeah that was nasty like ah even it's something- so crazy how 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 much psychology it plays into it because like you're, you're eating this bean and, and like you're thinking of like the dead fish right yeah, you know it's not real but and you know yeah you know it's not real but it's like still like almost tastes like it's it. ingrained like ingrained in us like the fear is yeah in us. oh man yeah, that, that was so nasty, man. Even that, the popcorn. You wouldn't think the popcorn would be that bad, but it's still I I can I didn't even like that one. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty pretty crazy stuff. Like even even remember when we went to Oyster Bake, there was the the bacon oh, covered yeah. in chocolate and fried, and it has like honey on it too. So yeah, I remember the bacon covered in chocolate and then also remember the fried Oreo. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The fried Oreo was actually pretty good. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was weird, but it, it wasn't wasn't bad. But the but fried like, bacon, though. Yeah, the fried bacon. So it was like uh, bacon with like a little bit of honey fried. And it has chocolate as well on, on top of it. And I'm like, why do people even like <laughs> sell this? Like, I thought I would like it because I like bacon and chocolate, but it just did not taste good at all. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some aspect of the frying or uh, stuff like that. Well, and I also tried bacon with ice cream, and that was terrible, too, because I saw Sonic was advertising, but I think they just put bacon pieces. I put a whole piece of bacon. In. I, I, that was terrible. Yeah, it just mm. it doesn't go. I guess sweet yeah. stuff and, like, salty, I don't know, for that at least. Yep, uh, that's pretty interesting. Were, were you ever that, like, did you ever see a kid, or were you that kid that ever, like, mixed – like different things when you were younger like in elementary or something like mix like different foods is that I, I would do that like sometimes i would you know dip my my bread that was covered on with butter in my milk and then i would put it on the tray and then put kiwi and then orange juice and just like mix it up and see like what it tasted like and whoever like drank it was like you know so strong you know like oh you 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 you're so strong and you're pushing it. Sure, like it messed me up a little bit, but <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen other people do that. But but I actually it's a funny thing, I do that more now actually as an adult because 
I do things like I like to experiment with different recipes and like try out mixed foods that haven't been mixed. So like with quesadillas, for example, I, I, I never heard of anyone making it before. So I was like, you know, I like bacon. What if I made a bacon quesadilla? And it's like amazing. It tastes amazing. So like, I, I think that's yeah. a crazy food combination and it for the better, for the, for good, for positive. Yeah. That was Just of- like yesterday I had a bean burger. Right. Oh, and yeah. so, so they put, uh, a, a bun of, and they, they put some, some beans on it. They put some, uh, chips, you know, they crunch them up and then they put them on top of the beans. Then they put a meat patty, they put uh salsa and then they put tomato and lettuce. You'd be surprised, man. It actually yeah. tasted really good. You know, another so, one I tried, another quesadilla I tried was I put this mac and cheese with like three cheese and like bacon bits and stuff. And I put that in a quesadilla too. And like, it just, it was actually really good. Like the cheese with the noodles with the flour tortilla and the noodles are fried on the edges. That was actually really good too. Sometimes yeah. I'd put our tortillas. I put like hash browns with bacon, with syrup, all in a tortilla. And it would actually be really good. Uh, when I was younger, I would always do this. I would get some fries, right? And then just put him on on the on the burger yes. and then like eat, eat eat it like that and, and put like some Pretty ketchup much. on it. Growing up, one of the things that was like a snack for me uh in my family is you get the 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 hot dog, right? The hot dog um uh wiener and you cut it into like round slices. So you cut it up into round slices, you put lime, and then there's this chili powder called tahin. Um, and so you, you sprinkle it on top and it's just like a, a snack that, that you can eat, you know? And a lot, I tell a lot of my friends and, and they, they think, uh, more in the mentality of like, oh, a hot dog, a wiener is more for like, like a hot dog, you know, to eat it with, you know, ketchup and tomato and let and, uh, and, and onion, but like we, we put lime on it and, mm-hmm and put chili powder on top and it just tastes amazing you know i I think it tastes like really good but like i think it's also you know to the bean boozle game like if you conditioned your 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 body to receive it more in the presentation of a hot dog then you know when you put lime and chili on it it's you can't make that association right 